One hour and four minutes after it leaves Houston, a high-speed train will arrive at Manchester Airport. And just nine minutes later, its passengers will step off at Piccadilly Station. Set for completion by 2033, HS2, the new electric spine for the UK, is a game changer for the economies of the north of England. Transformative investment is also being developed for Northern Powerhouse Rail to deliver rapid and seamless east-west travel between northern cities. These two giant infrastructure projects, HS2 and Northern Powerhouse Rail, will deliver much greater speed, capacity and connectivity, linking and strengthening the economies of the north. Electrification of the North's railway network is also underway, and the Northern Hub is already delivering a programme of targeted upgrades. And investment is not limited to rail. Transport for the North is overseeing a joined-up approach to freight and logistics, integrated ticketing and motorway linkages. Together, these commitments will release the North's true economic potential and help to rebalance the UK economy. It's a well understood and successful model of development, one that drives mainland Europe's most productive regions, like the Rhine Ruhr in Germany. In Greater Manchester, it is investment allied with the city region's transport reforms that is creating compelling development opportunities in the regional centre and across the wider city region. Transport for Greater Manchester is developing outlying residential and retail schemes as part of the Interchange Renewal Programme, helping the districts to meet their residential building targets on town centre and brownfield sites. It's estimated that transport investment will add 37 billion to the North's current annual GDP of 289 billion. So the economic prize is enormous. And backing the programme is a robust partnership bringing together government, treasury and the combined authorities to drive forward the agenda. At the heart of Northern Powerhouse Rail sits Piccadilly, already one of the busiest multimodal stations outside London. And when HS2 arrives, residents close to Piccadilly will have quicker commuter times to the capital than many living in Greater London suburbs. Two major development opportunities exist adjacent to Piccadilly Station, representing a significant easterly expansion of the city, and a generational opportunity to deliver exemplar urban schemes and a lasting legacy to these gateway sites. In the area around the old Mayfield Station south of Piccadilly, the Mayfield Partnership, comprising of Manchester City Council, TFGM, and London and Continental Railways are well advanced in finding a joint venture partner with the skills and ambition to deliver the master plan. To the north of the station, a new area called Piccadilly Central is being envisaged to capitalise on the arrival of HS2. Manchester City Council, TFGM and Bennett's Associates have created the Piccadilly Strategic Regeneration Framework spanning 14 million square feet of mixed-use space, which will deliver a vibrant new quarter next to the new transport hub. Together, the partners are ensuring that the investment in transport infrastructure will drive economic growth. And while all the cities of the North stand to benefit, Greater Manchester, with the largest economy, will be at the epicentre of the Northern Powerhouse. It's a journey that has already begun.